Will you please rise for the posting of the colors? Please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Gentlemen, please remove your hats and everyone bow your heads for the invocation. O oh God of grace and glory, hear our prayer this morning as we welcome our family, friends, faculty, and staff, and distinguished guests to this 2021 graduation. Thank you for the blessings of those you have sent here today to support, guide, encourage, and direct us. Today we celebrate the accomplishments of our seniors and reflect upon our experiences and challenges that we have faced to reach this point. We pray for the continued support of our school and community leaders, as well as the leaders of our state and nation. We trust that their decisions are a positive reflection on their commitment to us. We pray a special blessing for the ultimate sacrifices of the men and women of our armed forces and the seniors who plan on joining. We pray for those senior families and we pray for those who are overseas and return home safely. Be with us this morning to inspire us, motivate us and touch us with your grace. We ask you in this your name, amen. And please remain seated, please. Good morning to you as we embrace another beautiful morning here out on this football field for graduation. Five years running, last year a little bit of drizzle, that's it, so I'll take that. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration of Washington High School, I welcome you to the commencement ceremony for the graduating class of 2021. Today we have several special guests who are joining us. I would like to take a moment to recognize them for their continued strong support of Washington High School and our seniors. Would members of our Beaufort County Board of Education and Beaufort County Commissioners please stand at this time to be recognized. <laughs> Mr. Matthew Cheeseman, Superintendent, and Ms. Carolyn Walker, Chair of the Board of Education, Join us on stage to assist and celebrate all of our graduates of 2021. I thank you all for your continued support of Washington High School and your attendance today. We made it. We all made it through this past year. Standing here before you is a strong graduate class of seniors ready to move forward from their successes here at Washington High School into the world beyond and on to new triumphs in whatever positive path they take. 
I represent this class today as not only the principal, but also a parent as my youngest crosses this field today as well. I am sure you will agree with me that this is a special group of young men and women that we have before us today, and we have all looked forward to celebrating this day with them as they accept a diploma they have earned and worked very hard for. This school is supported by a community of parents, family members, and former students that embrace this school as theirs and support it as an extended family member. It is evident, even when you travel to a fall ball baseball game, that we support our kids and teams as if every game is a state championship. That extends to all our events outside of athletics as well and is a clear reminder of the special place this school holds in the hearts of the community. We, the faculty of Washington High School, thank you, the community, for your continued support, not only for your own students, but for us as well. Thank you. Students, I congratulate you on your outstanding achievement as members of this special class of 2021. Today is a celebration. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead and clap at any time. <laughs> Today is the celebration of all the hard work that your class has completed, both in class and remotely. Each of you has grown in a way that you should be proud of. You are a skilled and valuable group of young men and women that have each had varied accomplishments in your four years at Washington High School. Let this be the first of many celebrations of success you achieve in life, and let me be the first of many today to congratulate you and wish you the best for your future. I ask now that you give this fantastic group of seniors a large round of applause. Thank you. At this time, I would like to announce our total amount of awards and scholarships earned by this fine group of students and also formally announce our valedictorian and salutatorian. The class of 2021 was offered $1,800,000 in awards and scholarships. At this, time, at this time, I would like to introduce your valedictorian, Taylor Moore. Taylor, please come forward and be recognized. I would also like to recognize your salutatorian, Anna Taylor, who will provide a welcome on behalf of the class of 2021. Anna, please come forward and be recognized. Thank you. Good morning. I would like to welcome friends, family, teachers, administration, special guests, and the class of 2021. Thank you all for being here and allowing this ceremony to happen. I would also like to thank teachers, administration, and guidance counselors for all of their hard work and effort to get us to this point. Class of 2021, I can't believe that we finally made it to this point. It's crazy to think that it's already been four years since we walked onto this campus as freshmen ready to begin our high school careers. There was lots of excitement, anticipation, nervousness, and for me, the fear that I get put in a trash can, which I soon found out was not something that happens anymore. Four years ago, as we stepped into Washington High School and wondered if there was actually an East Hall or an upstairs with a pool, we had high hopes for what the four years would hold and anticipated all of the memories and good times that would come. As we began our time as students at Washington High School, we experienced many exciting events, but that soon changed when life as we knew it changed drastically during our junior year. We soon learned that the memories we had hoped to make during our junior and senior years would be far from ideal. And while we lost some of the traditional high school memories, memories like a junior prom, a final homecoming dance and spirit week, or our last two stunt nights, we are leaving here having learned to cherish and value all of the memories that we gained, even if they were far from ideal. 
and welcoming you here today, I want to make one thing clear. I am not here to take to talk about all that we did not get. I think we all know. Everyone has faced loss in the past year. Everyone has suffered. But we'll face this type of thing throughout the rest of our lives. Life is full of loss, but it is also full of opportunity. And as one of my favorite childhood stars, Hannah Montana, once sang, life is what you make it. So throughout the past four years, when things did not go as planned, and parts of our high school career were so suddenly taken away from us, I hope that you chose to focus on all of the positive experiences because if we focused on all that we lost, we would not be able to acknowledge how much we have overcome and all of the amazing memories we made while doing it. Memories like having more time to spend with friends and family while in virtual school, or rushing the basketball court after winning in the last few seconds during our junior year or winning the conference championship this year while playing football in April and making it all the way to regionals with the whole town rallying behind our school. Things like getting to put on musicals, joining those clubs that were so interesting, or hearing the student section cheer to Pam Pack in the front. And let's not forget hearing Mr. Gore's jokes or getting last in the homecoming float pretty much every year because we can never agree on a theme. Or, and this is one of my personal favorites, putting some ranch on it. <laughs> Looking back on our four years, I think it is safe to say that our high school experience was one of a kind. As we sit here today, we are closing this chapter and welcoming a new one. One where we will experience challenges and obstacles, but most importantly, opportunities. Some of us will go to college, some to the military, and some straight to the workforce but know that the challenges we face can bring about the most personal growth and the most valuable memories. So you might come up short to that job you so desperately wanted, or you might begin to rethink your dream job of becoming a surgeon after that chemistry class doesn't go so well during your freshman year of college. But that is only a part of life. Through it all, I hope that during your time as a student at Washington High School, you have learned the worth of choosing to see the good in every situation. I want to leave you with this. Life is full of twists and turns, as we have all seen during our high school years. However, I hope that you take advantage of this and choose to chase after the opportunities that arise as a result of the challenges that you face. Don't focus on all that you did not do, but focus on just how far you have come while also remembering how far you can still go. As we enter into the real world after today, I want you to know that I am honored to be a part of the Washington High School Class of 2021, a class who will always be remembered for our heart and resilience despite the far from ideal circumstances. Thank you, Washington. Good morning. This morning, it is my honor to speak on behalf of the senior class of 2021. Once again, we would like to just thank you for the many awards and scholarships presented by so many thoughtful individuals, organizations, and educational institutions. You have helped to make our graduation a memorable event in such an odd senior year. These awards and scholarships demonstrate our commitment to us. We appreciate our gratitude for your significant contributions and the many opportunities that otherwise may not have been possible through your actions. Those who you will have honored will remember your support of Washington High School. Thank you for your continued support, your continued community and school involvement, your commitment to our educational program, and most of all, to us. Please accept our sincere appreciation for the awards and scholarships you made possible for Washington High School for the class of 2021. And remember, one team, one goal, one pack. Thank you. Congratulations, graduates. My name is Heba, and today I've been given the honor 
of reminiscing on our past 13 years. Although among us, we have a plethora of different experiences that have molded us into who we are today, there are some memories that we can all relate to. We were all dropped off for our first day of school, regardless of where, and saw those halls as our own little Everest. Edmund Hillary was the first person to reach the top of Mount Everest, and when asked about his experience, he said, it's not the mountain we conquer, but ourselves. Looking back, those kindergarten halls probably sound minuscule, but the first time we approached them, some of us cried in their parents' arms, while some were more than eager to tackle those playground games and win them too. <laughs> Before we or our parents knew it, we were on to conquering one of the scariest mountains of life, middle school. The cafeteria politics, who to take to the dance, and all the meaningless drama that we now look back on laughing. In those days, those things seemed too big to scale, like who we sat with at lunch was somehow the determinant for our entire future social life. We laugh now, like high school was much different. The drama did not die, the cafeteria politics relocated into the student parking lot, or the just slightly bigger hallways. But those hallways seemed to get smaller over the past four years, as we filled them with best friends and amazing memories. Walking those halls with us were our supportive families, persistent teachers, hardworking staff members, and dedicated administration, whom without these mountains would have never been climbed. Today is the day we have reached the top of this mountain, but we have another one waiting for us. Some of us are taking on the workforce, some continuing to higher education, and some serving our country in the military. Each one with our own unique adventures awaiting us, each leading us down the path of life. Even though we have finished this adventure of grade school, the memories are ingrained in us like the flag we plant at the peak. To close, I want to encourage every one of you to go climb your mountain, keeping in mind that it will not seem so big once you've tackled it, just like those kindergarten halls. Thank you, and once again, congratulations, class of 2021. Marshals, if you will take your places. I have the distinct honor of calling the names. All right, I also ask you, parents, please be respectful. I know that you are excited as your child walks across, but please remember every parent wants to hear his or her child. All right, marshals, if you'll bring the first row forward. Kelly Elizabeth Adams. Lateria Antonisha Alexander. Sydney Abigail Allegood. Heba Galib Al Sudani. <laughs> Emily Estrellita Alvarez Serena. <laughs> Kayla Naomi Anderson. Hayden Edward Anderson. Olivia 
Sky Hour. Natrail Shimon Banks. Cassidy Rianne Barnes. Jameek James Drayon Beatty. Chelsea May Bettered. Justice Tariq Biggs. Madison Lee Black. Kasaya Manet Blackledge. Amarion Latrell Blunt. Adam Scott Bonner. Ethan Jude Bridgman. Reed Wallace Brody. Morgan Jade Brooks. Brianna Drene Bryant. Jamari Ozier Bryant. Jeremy Ajay Bryant. Reagan Elizabeth Bunting. James Braxton Cameron. Cleavon Rondale Carter, Jr. Laasia Monet Carter. Zipporah Antonia Collins. Gunner Paul Couch. Davion Marcarius Coward. Brandon David Cox. Jacob Altry Cox. Savannah Grace Craft. Stephen Cole Cratch. Elizabeth K. Crisp. Hannah Lauren Daniel. Zoe Faith Davenport. Malcolm Linnell Davis. Seth Grady Davis. Itzel De La Rosa Monter. Lindsay Elizabeth Delk. <sighs> Broughton Neil Dixon. This one's mine, y'all.
Tashid Sayer Dixon. Kirby Grace Paul Dunn. Michaela Dominique Dunn. No, Michaela? There she is. Zachary Thomas Edgerton. Dustin Paul Everett. Jaden Elise Fillingame. Jonathan Zane Foreman. Caleb Gray Foreman. Kiana Manet Frederick. Stella Covington Frisbee. Miguel Angel Gaches Sandoval. Aida Garcia Perez. Joel Mackay Gardner. Austin McCoy Garrett. Walter Bennett Gerard the Fifth. Cameron Xavier Gibbs. Ashley Go Beyond Madrano. David Gomez Dominguez. Kamani Larnice Gray. Knowledge Kendall Griffin. Ravonda Shakita Grimes. Crystal K. Grizzard. Tyler Dimitri Gromo. Jaden Deshaun Hambrick. Cassie Lee Harrell. Kaylee Grace Harris. Bryant Higuera Dominguez. Christopher Kent Hill. Mary Emma Hosher. Sierra Brianna Hopkins. <laughs> Zentavia Davion Claudasia Hopkins. Emma Grace Horton.
Sarah Nicole Hudson. Heidi Anai Ibarra Montoya. Victoria Sky Jansen. Shakayla Amari Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew James Keach. Ashanti Omega Maxine Keys. Arissa Dawn Kim. Jackson Tyler Kirkman. Bradley Wayne Kuntz. Tyler Anthony Labox. Macon Patrick Lee. Jonathan Lee Linson. Sierra Alexis Linton. Elizabeth Raquel Little. Rihanna Michelle Little. Lily Francis Lobos. Dennis Laura Lopez. Yoselin Lugo Reyes. Megan Grace Manning. Dale Austin McLeod. Kelsey Lee McCroy. Ashley Maria Medina. Giovanni Medina. Jennifer Mendoza Hernandez. Elizabeth Mendoza. Arabit Monter Ramirez. Brandon Edward Moore. Riley Brooke Moore. Sequoia Misha Moore. Taylor Nicole Moore. Xavius Shakim Zamir Moore. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> Shanil Ayana Nikkei 
more Corpru. <laughs> Megan Nicole Mosier. Tristan Riley Nixon. Sydney Paige O'Neill. Tristan Gray Paik. Melody Yanoeth Palacios Chavez. Robert Edward Pollock the third. Allison Marie Potter. Jada Alexis Nicole Powell. All right, Jada! Yeah. Ruth Meredith Quinones Teniente. Landon Neil Ragland. Luis Angel Ramirez Hernandez. Giselle Ramirez Lopez. Shamaya Imani Randolph. Diana Carelli Roshan Aboites. Quintasia Sandrika Rogers. Juan Carlos Rosario. Christian Paul Rose. Brian San Juan Gonzalez. Bailey Lauren Schmidt. Michaela Cheyenne Sefton. Jemiah Tricia Shackelford. Jack Hamblin Simons. Jordan Destiny Smallwood. David John Smith. Elijah Jair Snape. Zoe Ann Solano. Briasia Antoinette Somerville. Ethan Thomas Summers. Devin Shane Spain. Jaden Ty Spain.
Kamaja Ane Spencer. Latisha Kishe Spencer. Leah River Spencer. Grayson Elizabeth Sproul. Samuel J. Stewart. Benjamin Robert Swenson. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Anna Renee Taylor. Tamia Nicole Taylor. <laughs> Matthias Cornelius Van Staldinen. Leonella Lerma Velasquez. Aranza Velez Hernandez. Alyssa Ruby Victoria Wade. Emma Ray Waters. Peyton Hope Wetherington. <laughs> Mason Bradley Weaver. Michael Gray West. <laughs> Kayla Danae White. <laughs> Zacchaeus Damon White. <laughs> Leah Deanne Wilkins. Elizabeth Michelle Willis. <laughs> Way to go, Lizzie. Jonathan Michael Willis. <laughs> Kanaya Lazasia Woodley. Asharia Kayandra Woolard. Chandler Faith Woolard. <laughs> Dawson Kane Woolard. <laughs> Tanajal Lene Worley. Anna Kaylin Yoder. Woo! 
Tristan Riley Yeomans. Rebecca Elise Zerniak. Oh. All right, let me be the second to congratulate you. Congratulations, class of 2021. Good morning. As superintendent, I'd wish to bring greetings and congratulations from your Board of Education, but I'd like to start with the parents. I'd like to say congratulations to you. You made it. Give yourselves a round of applause, please. Specifically, I'd like to thank all of our parents, our community members, everyone who helped us get through this great pandemic but everyone who raised and had a hand in all of the fine children that are in front of us today. And to you as students, I wish to say thank you to you and congratulations to you and lend just a small piece of advice. <clears throat> Long ago in your middle school years, teachers started asking you what you wanted to be. And specifically, some of you started thinking what careers you'd like to go into. For me, when I was in middle school, I may have been a little bit different and I've never changed that mindset. All I ever wanted to be was successful. Whatever I wanted to do would help me become successful. And so what I'm asking you to do is think forward, look into the future, and how will you be successful in whatever you're going to be? And so with that, I also offer just a little bit of thought moving forward. Give yourself time. Think about what that time means. Have time with family and friends, but have time in deep thought. Always be responsive, never be reactionary. The car in front of you at the red light will eventually move. You don't need to beep at it. Specifically, count four seconds before you hit send on your social media, because employers like me will look at it 20 years from now. With that, have integrity and character. Sometimes it might be the only thing you have when you get knocked down, but stand back up. And always remember, the family and friends who are here today will always welcome you home. And with that, I congratulate you. I wish you to be highly successful in whatever you wish to do in life. And always know, we'll see you when you visit home. Thank you and congratulations. Good morning, class of 2021. I'm honored to be sharing this moment with you all. Sitting here today at graduation means so much more than it ever has before for our generation. I know I'm not the first one, and there's no way that I'll be the last one to remind you of how this year has been something else. We've endured so much, yet experienced so little during the past few years. But we're doing this all together. Beside you are those who you most likely started elementary, middle, and or high school with, yet nothing could prepare us for what was to come. That's the funny thing about the future. We have no control over what we will experience after today. Some of us will go off to college, some the military, some the workforce, and so on. Here we are sitting with the future in our hands, which feels very intimidating. But remember, 
If we continue to use the strength and perseverance we've displayed throughout high school to be here today, the future will forever be in our favor. We started this journey together and here we are finishing it. So this is for the teachers and staff of Washington High School. This is for my peers who never let anything stand in their way. And this is especially for those who helped me on my math homework over the past few years. Thank you. Thank you now and thank you forever. Class of 2021, this is our year. Our year to succeed, prosper, and graduate. But it doesn't stop here. The year after this one, the one five years from now and beyond are all for us. The future is ours and it's up to us to prove that. With that being said, I ask all of my fellow classmates to stand. And from one Washington High School student to another, congratulations, you may now turn your tassels. Um, you can all be seated. <laughs> Good morning, students, family, faculty, and fellow graduates. To the class of 2021, we made it. It's hard to believe that after these four unbelievable years of high school, two of them being a little more unbelievable than others, that we have finally arrived. It is my honor as your valedictorian to be able to celebrate our final farewell from Washington High School today. I'd first like to thank the members of the Beaufort County School Board for their cooperation and determination in allowing us to be able to safely participate in graduation today. I would also like to thank our superintendent, Mr. Cheeseman, our Washington High School principal, Dr. Swenson, our guidance counselors, classroom teachers, coaches, and staff for their countless hours of guidance and dedication to our class. And of course, a heartfelt thank you to all the parents, siblings, and family that have been by our sides all these years. I can proudly speak for the class of 2021 as I say every single one of you have made astounding impacts on our lives. None of this could have been possible without the constant guidance and support from those we love over the past four years. And personally, I would like to thank God, my Lord and Savior, for leading us here today. As we celebrate this amazing milestone in our educational journey, it is important to reflect on everything that led us here today. This includes the friendships some of us have made since kindergarten that are going to be some of the hardest goodbyes, the reliance some of those special teachers had on us by allowing us to skip lunch to hang out in their classrooms when we needed a break, and that team that gave us another place to call home when we needed it. Whatever it is for you, it got you here. Today is a day to celebrate all of those good moments high school had to offer. And even though these last two years have definitely been an experience that none of us could have predicted, it definitely provided memories that we will never forget. Although we have countless memories to cherish over the past years, our journeys are only beginning. After this, many are gonna go tell you to go out and find your purpose in life. I say that our purposes are being fulfilled each and every day. It's funny when I talk about finding our purpose in the world, because even as a kid, ever since the third grade, I told myself that in order to find my purpose in this world, I was gonna need to work more today so I can work less tomorrow. And as wise as I thought I was for a nine-year-old to come up with that, I realized something this last year, and I'm sure a lot of you have too. Many of us, and me especially, have been going through life working and looking for tomorrow, working for the day where our so-called purpose would appear. But I've learned that our purposes in life are shown each and every day. So today, I challenge the class of 2021 to demonstrate their purposes in all that we do. Don't wait for tomorrow to find your purpose. Instead, live your purpose each and every day in all that you do. I can confidently say that as I've seen purpose in every single one of you. This is my best advice as I say farewell to the best class Washington High has ever seen. Although this is goodbye, goodbyes are not always the end. In fact, 
After a goodbye, there is always a new hello. So as we leave here today and head our separate directions, I wish you all the best of luck in taking on that new hello and seeing what life has to offer you. Thank you. Please stand for the benediction. <laughs> Dear God, during the time where we have had so many changes, we are thankful to be standing here today as the graduating class of 21. As we venture out into the next stages in our lives, please help us to be a positive reflection of our family, friends, and teachers. I pray that we are able to stay true to our dreams and our talents to make this world a better place. I pray that today and this day forward that we continue to give and receive love from one another and that no matter what the next chapter holds for us, we will always be pan pat strong. Whether the next step is college, military, or the workforce, that each of us strive to be the best versions of ourselves we can be. In Jesus' name, I ask all these things and for all your protection as we cross the thresholds in our lives. Amen. <laughs> Please remain in place for the rest of the lead led, sorry, by our marshals and remain standing until the dignitaries, faculties, and seniors have departed the field. <laughs> 